This is my first official week of summer because I just finished my one year internship slash placement year. So I've got a few plans for this summer as I'm not starting uni until October the 3rd. So I've literally got four months of summer, which is crazy. The first thing we're gonna do is make a really cute calendar on my iPad. I'm gonna like do something on good notes, I think, and do all this. Grab your calendar and follow along with this video, plan out your summer 2022. It's gonna be so much fun, let's go. So the first thing I did is make my own iPad template. You can download these online and just get a calendar offline, but I like to make my own. So I just did this in Google Slides and I put in like where I'm gonna be on each day or week, for example, London, home or bath, because that affects a lot of plans. So then I downloaded this and put it onto my iPad. And then once it's a PDF onto your iPad, you can just write on it and nothing will be changed. And then with the Apple Pencil, I'm just filling in all of my plans for the summer and you can always move this around or erase the pen and stuff, which is why I love using the iPad for this. And of course, I use loads of fun colors and highlighters and stuff like that just to make it pretty. So I have made my summer planner, it looks so cute. I've used so many like pastel highlight colors. I've also got my list notepad, which I use like every week and my weekly planner. These are both from Papier, they're the cutest designs. I'd really recommend them. I use the list pad mostly for like things I need to do today, this week, or like before I go on holiday, for example. This is what it looks like. And then the weekly planner is really good because it has a to-do list on this side and then you can like kind of delegate your tasks to like each day. So I usually find that I prefer having a monthly overview or like a series of months of plans in digital form because then I can just see a big overview and change everything. Whereas my day-to-day -day planning or weekly planning, I like to do on paper just because it's easy to get up in the morning and just write some stuff down. And obviously if I'm planning out a day, it's usually not gonna change. So I don't need to have it digitally. So to fill you in on the summer plans, I am still working part time for the same company that I did my internship with, which is so exciting. I'm doing like a base of three days a week for that and then I'll have the rest of the days for myself. And then I have a couple of holidays planned, but apart from that, I have some other ideas. So even though I'm gonna be working three days a a week like the same thing that I've been doing I also want to do some other kind of work as in like the same thing but for other companies because obviously I only have experience in like cosmetics so far um, professional experience I feel like I need to try content creation digital marketing 
in different industries to figure out like what I like the most because I'm literally only 20 just entering the industry so I don't want to like get caught up in one thing without having tried different things so far so one of my main goals this summer is to kind of get some other clients um, whether it's a one-off project or like a certain number of hours a week so I've created a goal um, note on notability and I'm gonna write down all of my goals I split it into three sections work wellness and personal so personal might include like travel and just like random things that don't fit into the other two and for work that's gonna also include my own content for YouTube and Instagram and stuff just because it makes sense because it's so similar to what I do for work. I just group it all together. I've just made a section with like three different goals and then making them SMART goals, which basically just makes them more defined. I may have got a treat. Although I feel like Wagamama's feels healthy, like I know that it's takeout, but it's like healthy vibes. I got a green juice. This is the positive juice, which is pineapple, spinach, lime, maybe ginger. And then I got a ramen. Mmm, that's so good. So my main health and wellness goal, I want to start yoga. They do have yoga classes at the gym that I go to. I currently have the membership without the classes because I did like the classes but I just wasn't using it enough so I switched and also they only have like three yoga classes a week. But I have found a yoga studio which looks so nice and it's even closer to my house than my gym. They have five yoga classes a day at this studio because obviously it's like just yoga and pilates i think they do pilates as well and they have like an introductory offer which is 40 pounds and you get like unlimited classes for the month which i think is really good and it's just like an opportunity to try it out It's like five to seven right now. I'm just on the way to yoga. Luckily, it's literally a two minute walk from mine. It is gonna be so hot today. I'm already just in a t-shirt and shorts and it's so warm, but it's really refreshing at this time of the morning. I'm excited. I didn't film the class because it's a very calm, no tech atmosphere, but it was so good. It was actually really hard for me because I obviously don't do yoga very often. So it will take a bit of getting used to and building up my strength, but I really enjoyed it. And then after I headed to Planet Organic and got myself a matcha, this is also a new thing for me. I never have matcha, but I'm really enjoying it right now. I'm gonna do the ginger shot now and see what I think. I think I have done a ginger shot before, but not for so long, so let's see. Oh my God, that's strong. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, it's burning. It's burning the throat. Quite nice aftertaste actually i do like ginger but that is just a lot i'm gonna have some mango actually i am skeptical whether those ginger shots are good for you because like surely if it's burning my throat a little bit then isn't it like a bit too harsh for my stomach i don't know let's make some breakfast
I have just got ready for the day and this is my outfit. I got this dress really recently and I'm literally obsessed. I only have a couple of summer dresses so I really wanted another one. I thought this would be perfect for holiday and this is just the energy I want to be giving off in summer. Just like cool, casual, classic. I have made myself an iced coffee and I'm going to get myself in the summer mood by changing all of my screensavers to like a summer mood board so as you guys saw earlier in the vlog i made a pinterest board so i'm going to take loads of photos from that and make that into like screensavers for my laptop ipad and phone and also i'm going to make a summer playlist which i'm so excited about it's probably going to be 90 percent harry styles can't lie <laughs> Okay, that's enough of the plays today. I'm gonna keep adding to it, but I love what I've got so far. Thanks for watching. I really hope this video inspired you to live your best life this summer and enjoy this quick montage of a summer morning with me in London.